Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for November 20th through November 26th. This is for the sign of Scorpio. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Now I have to remind you that this may not resonate with you because it is for hundreds and thousands of people. It's not a private reading, okay? So it may not resonate. It may resonate fully, but it may not. This is for somebody, put it that way. I had pre-shuffled this deck, so it is definitely time to lay them out. So Scorpio, the basis of your reading is the Empress. <laughs> During your, your birthday month, your birthday time, you are the Empress. Beautiful, inside and out. Your soul is beautiful and you are vibrating very, very highly. Very highly. Your strength is showing from your gentle compassion all right, the love that you are projecting out to the world is exuberant, easily seen, drawing people in. Your attractiveness is beyond words, okay? Happy birthday. That is beautiful. Just like you, <laughs> man or woman, by the way. Man or woman. Okay, so you should be right in your element this week. You really should. You could, you're could. you probably feeling quite balanced and quite at peace with who you are. I feel like you're just going with the flow. All right? You're not worried about the past. It feels like things, um, there's a lot of happiness here. That doesn't, it, I mean, <laughs> it looks so good. I mean, yeah, we do have a seven of swords right there, but that, that's right with the cards next to it, the devil and the tower. I think that you're, you're, you're letting something go, some kind of deceit or feeling deceived. Maybe you've been deceiving yourself and that's not happening anymore. Okay, you've let go of deceiving yourself. You are no longer letting the devil control you. Okay, that's, that's what's going on. You're no longer letting yourself be controlled by outer forces. You're right in your realm. You're right in your comfortable zone. All right, I feel like it's a time of healing. It's a time of recuperation. All right, and I feel like there's no huge strife in your life, okay? There's not. The tower is reversed. It's like you know exactly what is going on. There's no confusion here. It's like nothing can break you this week. You are right in your element, and you are vibrating very, very high very high. There's no lack of communication. You have a divine connection. You're listening to it. It's a very successful week. It's like you are the master of your emotions this week and nobody can break you. Nobody. Complete happiness here. No confusion. No more deceit. You're not deceiving yourself and you know it. Nobody can even Break that bubble this week. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, you're very balanced, stable, secure, um, emotionally balanced, uh, at ease, right in your element, communicating freely, happy, blessed. I mean, the whole nine yards. 
I'm going to start shuffling the other deck. Any feelings of deceit that were in your life, you've let it go. Okay, and I think the feelings of deceit, you know, I think you were deceiving yourself. And I think that this week you're not. You're not. You know, your faith has prevailed. There's no, no falseness. There's not. There's not. Okay? The falseness that was there, the lies, the sneaking, the deceit, or whatever it was, that's not happening. Complete truth. You know the truth. You believe it, and you're not worried about it. You feel healed. You feel it. No more worrying about the past. It's done. And you know it. You've It's done. It's over. You've left it behind. I'm moving forward. I'm happy with where I'm at. You're looking towards the future. You There's growth for you. There's a time of rebirth. And you know it. You are going through a period of renewal. And it's beautiful. You are vibrating so high that your attractiveness, like I said, is beyond words. I mean, people can feel your power. You're starting something new. You've ta you're taking risks. You you're starting over. There, it is a period of renewal here. It's a period of rebirth for you. It feels like you're just doing the right for you. There's no more struggles. You're being honest with yourself. You're letting go of the need to control and you're going with the flow. I don't see struggles here. You're just going with it. You're eager for the new you. You're eager to shine. And you are shining. You're shining this week, Scorpio. You're very attractive. You're attracting everybody. <laughs> so if you're single, there's certainly a chance that somebody could come charging in if you're single. All right? I mean, you are the... Um, pick of the litter, put it that way, this week. You are very, you're, you're vibrating so high. You're right in your element. And everybody can see it. Everybody can see your vibrancy this week. You've, you're building a, a, a firm foundation for yourself. You are. You're building a firm foundation. And you're not in a hurry to do that. You're doing it the right way. Soft, gentle. I feel like many of you are definitely going for, through a renewal, a rebirth. You're starting something over with faith and trust. You're not, you're not going backwards. You're moving forward. And you're looking at, looking at it from an exciting perspective. You're excited for your future. You've mastered your emotions. And you're heading in the right direction. I don't see any fear. No fear. No fear. Ooh. 
This is why you've let go. This is why you have let go. You have. You have let go. Okay? You've let go. You've moved on from something. All right? You have. You've let go of something. You've let go of the past. Because there was no love there. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's how it was. And now you've let something go big, which has brought your beauty back. It's bringing your beauty back. It's bringing your essence back. It's bringing your, your vibration up. It's making you more attractive because you have let something go that did not serve you. And that took mastering your emotions to do that. Heart chakra. Love is the heart of matter. And you know it. You know it. Because you are about love this week. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being. Attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart. As we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. You know it. You don't even need this card. You know it. It's all about love and you are sending out love and love is coming right back. You've let something go and that brings in the best love ever. That's what I see. And I feel like many of you are starting a new journey with excitement and passion. <laughs> so Scorpio I think this week is about letting go it's about letting go of the past and acting out of love and loving yourself and bringing your vibrancy back your vibration and you are vibrating very highly okay no more feeling lost no more feeling dead inside that's over your passion your beauty your attractiveness is back. If you are single, somebody could come charging in. There's, it's definitely a period of growth and you are growing. You are. And you are sending out love. And it's coming right back. So Scorpio, that's what I have for you November 20th through November 26th and I want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving if you are from America and if you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video. Talk to you later.